going on guys i'm back with another one here we got g face pressing whack 100 and asking for the fade said he'd been ducking him for some time so he's been chasing whack 100 trying to get the fade from him sending a message and everything ignoring his calls and everything or saying that he will meet up with him but nothing ever happens so anyway i'm gonna get right into this one let y'all listen to this one and see how y'all feel about it anyway y'all already know y'all gonna leave the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Shout out to G-Face. Shout out to WAC100, guys. Let's go. American Cholo going at it with WAC100. Me, personally, everybody that WAC100 gets into, all of a sudden, is a child molester or is a rat. The dude types up fake paperwork, fake everything, and people are supposed to believe in that shit. I mean, you're 50-something years old. You fucking work with 6ix9ine, the biggest fucking rat there is. The man snitched on over 70 bloods in New York. Yet, you're over here fucking with this man. You manage for this man. Shows you how greed and money, if you got money, it don't matter if you're a rat. It don't matter who you are. People like WAG100 will always fuck with you. But people don't understand... Wack 100 was a fucking truck driver, bro. He was Suge Knight's bitch. He was a fucking truck driver, bro. I've known Wack for a long time. He knows me. As y'all know, I'm in the trucking industry. I understand having beef and trying to keep yourself relevant, but your artist, G uh, your artist literally knows me. At the end of the day, what the fuck do you got to speak for, bro? Who's going platinum? Game is washed up. Blueface is out here fucking with a fucking crackhead bitch named Sean. Literally a fucking crackhead bitch, bro. You got nothing to speak for, bro. Your only outlet is to still stay relevant by talking shit about people, but the man literally went inside the fucking man's house, knocked on his door, man. I don't think y'all understand how serious this is. He's lucky American Cholo wasn't home. Now, if American Cholo was home, would he open the door and start blasting? Would he would have all the right to or not? I don't know. I can't speak for American Cholo. I don't know him like that. But that's so totally uncalled for, man. You don't go to somebody's house, man. Me personally, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't allow that, to, you know, I wouldn't let that slide. That would give me a reason to put a bullet in you, personally. But you got to understand, man, this is a 50-year-old man that, just wants to stay relevant. Don't have no clue what, what, how to be respectful. Like, you are fucking racist. You were talking shit about Mexicans, bro. Own it. You gave a thousand dollars to some fucking C Mac, and C Mac's a follower. This message is to C Mac. Don't you realize since you've been out or before, from your homie ODM Slim to everybody around you except Lupe, and Lupe been solid with you. Everybody around you been using you, bro. Been using you for your cloud. Been using you for your money. Adam from No Jumper specifically said, in 2020, 2021, C-Mac kept us afloat. Think about that. You should have had a better manager next to you. Somebody smart would know how to monetize you, but instead, you're just still being a follower. Think about it, man. Get yourself crossed up with a lot of bullshit. At the end of the day, what WAC 100 is doing caused racial riots in the city of LA. That's some real shit. And when you think you were somebody and you think you fucking with somebody because they don't gang man no more, they put that shit to the side, but you don't realize, man, a lot of people still fuck with American Cholo. A lot of solid people. I myself have DM'd American Cholo and I told him I'm rocking with you no matter what. I'm Armenian. I'm not Mexican. But what you don't understand is without me speaking too much on the politics, all Armenians run under the Mexican umbrella. All Armenians run as Sureños. All uh, Mex uh, Armenians run as Southsiders, should I say. Not all of them are Sureños. But at the end of the day, what you guys don't realize, we run these streets, man. We own these streets. L.A. is ours, man. 
So what WAC 100 is doing, man, is the type of shit that gonna have his family literally singing fucking burial music at his funeral. And this is some real shit. I'm speaking fast. This ain't me threatening people. This is my opinion. You know, not everybody's a bitch. Not everybody's just going to be like, oh, I'm going to just let it be. At the end of the day, I would strongly suggest WAC 100, if you're listening to this, play your role, stick to your artists, stick to your rat ass, snitch ass, 6 9 buddy. And make your money, bro, because at the end of the day, you live in a valley. Specifically, WAC 100 always says he's with his family, he's with his wife and his kids at any event. Just think about the shit that could happen to you, man. You know, you use C-Mac, you use Lupe to cause friction amongst races. And at the end of the day, as you notice, Lupe did the same shit. Went on, they're like puppets. Lupe and C Mac are like puppets to whack 100. It's whoever got the money, it's whoever got the money. And we're talking about a few hundred dollars. Like, I guarantee you, right now, I could give a thousand dollars to fucking C Mac and do a video saying, Say, fuck what at whack 100, and he'll do it. Same thing for Lupe. But at the end of the day, is that really clout? Is that really real shit? I don't know, man. But me personally, I don't fuck with WAG 100. WAG 100 is a straight bitch. And that's just my personal opinion. I've showed the text messages between me and him. Like I said to people, this is not me just speaking on somebody that I don't know. I know this man personally, man. You didn't got down with the homie. The homie fucked your ass up, broke his hands. Shout out to my boy Young Life. You know, at the end of the day, nobody respects you, bro. Your own people don't respect you. How the fuck do you walk around saying paperwork party? I just don't understand that. You're accusing of American Cholo having paperwork on him when you yourself hang around, condone, and do business with a known sex offender, 6ix9ine, slash known rat, 6ix9ine. Just explain to me, man. How does this shit work? Like, the amount of hypocrisy, man. Like, you're a fucking hypocrite, bro. Like, think about this shit, bro. And one day, you sit in the room with a rat, tell him, look, man, you got money, so I'll work for you. I'll manage you. I'll do anything. I'll protect you. Oh, he's a civilian. Oh, he's this and that. But anybody else you get into, oh, there's paperwork on him, bro. But everybody sees through your shit, whack. But with that said, I've messaged you on Instagram, I've messaged you on Twitter, I've texted you this, and you keep saying, yeah, 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 I'm making this shit official, all the blogs can see this shit, no jumper can see this shit, LA Icon can see this shit, Full Community can see this shit, Wack 100, you's a bitch, G-Face is telling you, let's you and I, catch a fade, bro, you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, any place, anytime, and we're recording this shit, bro, and we're recording this shit. You want to go viral? You want to go live? Let's do this shit, bro. I, as a man, am calling you out, bro. Fuck the paperwork. Fuck the talk. Let's do this, bro. Use a bitch. I'm telling you as a man, use a bitch. You're over here trying to bump into a 50-year-old man, an OG that ain't even tripping on his gangbanging shit. That's literally living his life, doing his own shit, being a fucking civilian. I still want the smoke, though. And mind you, I'm Armenian, dog. I'm riding with a Mexican, homie. What's up? I'll take that fade for you. Use a bitch, dog. I'm telling you. So, set that up. You know all the blogs is going to send you this. I'll be waiting for your call, homie. Fuck wet 100. Hey, guys. We're going to leave that one right there. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one. Y'all already know. I don't know. He kind of pressed him. Uh, or not to say he pressed him because he wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a face-to-face kind of thing. But... I mean, he's saying a lot of stuff right there, you know what I'm saying? And he basically willing to take that fade for American Cholo, you know what I'm saying? Wack got to respond to this. I'm waiting for Wack to respond to this one, you know what I'm saying? Because he done basically respond to everybody else, so you got to respond to this one too, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, we're going to watch out for that one, see what see what happens from that. Till next time, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Be good, be safe, peace.